Welcome, wisdom seekers. You have discovered our timeless treasures of ancient knowledge. Being here means that you should see yourself as exceptional. We are guides to timeless principles designed to inspire inner peace and personal growth. Today, we will explore the profound wisdom of the Stoics and their unique perspective on love. I invite you to journey with us and to stay until the end for a wealth of insights. And before we move on, do hit the subscribe button to ensure you won't miss any golden nuggets of wisdom from the voices of the ages. Now let's look into the captivating world of the Stoics, where ancient wisdom meets modern enlightenment and their perspective on love. Have you ever wondered why love seems so elusive when chased? Our ancient philosophers had a profound understanding of this paradox. Let's dive into the world of Stoicism and their thoughts about love. Stoicism, a school of philosophy founded in Athens by Zeno of Citium, is a philosophy of personal ethics informed by its system of logic and its views on the natural world. Stoics who lived by this philosophy believed in accepting life as it is, focusing on what's in our control and letting go of what isn't. Now, you might wonder, what does this ancient philosophy have to do with love? Well, it's quite simple. Stoics saw love as something natural, something that blossoms on its own and cannot be forced or chased. They believed that love, like all things, should be accepted as it comes and goes. One of the core principles of Stoicism is respect for the autonomy and free will of others. Stoics understood that everyone has their own journey, their own choices to make, and just as we wouldn't want someone else to control our actions, we shouldn't seek to control others, especially in matters of the heart. Stoicism also places a high emphasis on virtues such as kindness, compassion and understanding. These virtues, the Stoics argued, cannot be cultivated through coercion or manipulation. Instead, they emerge naturally in relationships that are based on respect and mutual consent. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us the wisdom of acceptance. Accepting things as they are, including love, allows us to live in harmony with the world around us. Instead of trying to force our desires onto reality, we learn to flow with the rhythm of life, appreciating the beauty of each moment, even if it's not exactly what we had planned. As we explore the Stoic principles, you'll understand why they advise against forcing or chasing love. So let's embark on this journey together, exploring the timeless wisdom of the Stoics and uncovering the profound insights they offer on love. The first Stoic principle revolves around respect for autonomy and free will. This principle is the bedrock of Stoicism, a philosophy that bids us to honor the individual will and agency of others. It is the embodiment of the butterfly, which should be allowed to flutter freely in its own path, rather than being held captive in our hands. Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, remember, it is not enough to be hit or insulted to be harmed. You must believe that you are being harmed. If someone succeeds in provoking you, realize that your mind is complicit in the provocation. This perspective is a testament to the power of autonomy and free will. It is a call to recognize that we are the masters of our thoughts and emotions and that we should extend the same understanding to others, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. In the realm of love, this principle advises us against attempting to control or manipulate the feelings of others. Love should be an expression of one's free will and not a product of coercion. It should be a choice made independently, not a decision forced upon by someone else. Remember, the most beautiful flowers are those that bloom naturally, not those that are forcefully opened. Moreover, respecting others' autonomy in love also means allowing them the freedom to grow and change. Just like the butterfly that undergoes metamorphosis, people too evolve over time. It is crucial to respect this process of growth, to allow love to adapt and evolve naturally without trying to confine it to our rigid expectations. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic philosopher, once said, accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This quote invites us to love wholeheartedly, but also to accept that love cannot be forced or controlled. Love, according to Stoics, cannot be forced, but should be a choice freely made. So as we navigate the complexities of love, let's remember to honor the autonomy and free will of others, just as we would want ours to be respected. 
The second Stoic principle is about prioritizing virtues. Now, when we speak of virtues, we refer to qualities such as kindness, compassion, and understanding. These virtues are not just words, they are the very essence of our humanity. They are the qualities that allow us to connect with others on a deep, meaningful level. They are the foundation of love, and yet, they cannot be forced. Imagine a butterfly, it's a creature of immense beauty, but if you try to hold it too tight, you'll crush it. In the same vein, virtues cannot be cultivated through coercion or manipulation. They must be allowed to flourish naturally, developing within us as we navigate our relationships and experiences. Stoic philosophy teaches us to cultivate these virtues for their own sake, not for the sake of winning someone's affection. It teaches us to be kind because kindness is a virtue, not because we hope to gain something in return. To be compassionate because compassion is a fundamental human quality, not because we want to appear desirable. To understand because understanding fosters connection, not because we wish to control. In love as in life, virtues are the compass that guide us. They help us navigate the complexities of human relationships, steering us towards actions that are respectful, considerate and genuine. They remind us that love is not a game of control, but a dance of mutual respect and understanding. But remember, virtues are not a tool to manipulate others into loving us. They are the bedrock upon which genuine, healthy relationships are built. They are the foundation of a love that is free, not forced. A love that is based on mutual respect, understanding and kindness. A love that is as beautiful and delicate as a butterfly, allowed to fly freely rather than being held too tight. Virtues are the foundation of genuine love and they cannot be forced. So let's strive to cultivate these virtues within ourselves, not for the sake of winning someone's love, but for the sake of becoming better, more compassionate and understanding individuals. And in doing so, we might just find that love comes to us naturally without us having to chase after it. Our third Stoic principle teaches us the wisdom to let go and move on. In the grand tapestry of life, we often find ourselves clinging to threads that have long since frayed. This is particularly true in matters of the heart. Stoicism, however, offers us a different perspective. Imagine, if you will, the butterfly. It starts its life as a caterpillar bound to the ground only to transform into a creature of the air. It doesn't lament its past, nor does it try to crawl on the ground once it has wings. It embraces change, it adapts, it moves on. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, the understanding that everything is transient and nothing is truly ours to keep. We are all, in essence, butterflies, evolving, changing, and sometimes needing to let go. Stoics believed in the impermanence of everything, including love. They saw the wisdom in recognizing when a relationship was no longer serving its purpose, when love was unattainable, or when holding on was causing more harm than good. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, he who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. In the same vein, he who knows when to let go never runs out of things to let go of. Letting go is not about giving up. It's about acknowledging that some paths are meant to be walked alone. It's about understanding that just like the seasons change, so do people, feelings and circumstances. In love, as in life, there is a time to hold on and a time to let go. Knowing the difference between the two is the wisdom that Stoicism imparts. It is the courage to say goodbye, the strength to move forward, and the wisdom to understand that the end of one thing is often the beginning of another. In the words of the great Stoic philosopher Seneca, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. So when we let go, we are not losing, but making space for new beginnings. Knowing when to let go is a strength, not a weakness. It is the mark of a wise heart that understands the transient nature of life and love. So as we journey on, let us carry this wisdom with us as a guiding light, leading us towards inner peace and personal growth. The fourth Stoic principle emphasizes virtuous intentions over selfish desires. As we look deeper into the wisdom of the ancients, we find a world that holds virtue above all else. In the realm of love and relationships, the Stoics held a belief that is as profound as it is simple. We must act out of virtue, not out of selfish desires. The Stoics believed that love in its purest form is an act of giving, not taking. It is about understanding, caring and nurturing not about fulfilling personal desires or seeking personal gain. This doesn't mean that one should not seek happiness in a relationship, quite the contrary. But the happiness sought should be mutual, shared and founded on virtue. 
Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and prominent Stoic philosopher, once said, what is not good for the beehive cannot be good for the bees. In the context of love, this means that any action that serves only to satisfy our selfish desires and not the well-being of the relationship is not virtuous. Think of it as a garden. If you plant a seed with the sole intention of enjoying its fruits, you may neglect the plant's needs, leading to its withering. However, if you plant a seed out of love for the garden and care for it with no expectation in return, you will see it flourish and bear fruit naturally. This principle urges us to let go of the I want mentality in a relationship and instead embrace the we need perspective. It is about replacing selfish desires with virtuous intentions. It is about understanding that the greatest joy in love comes not from taking, but from giving, not from demanding, but from understanding. In the end, the Stoics tell us that love is not a transaction, it's a transformation. It's not about what we can get, but about what we can become. And what we can become, when we act out of virtue, is infinitely more rewarding than any selfish desire. Love is not about satisfying selfish desires, but about acting out of virtue. So, as we navigate our relationships, let us remember this wisdom from the ancients and strive to act out of virtue, rather than selfish desires. Stoics teach us the wisdom of accepting things as they are, our fifth principle. This principle is a guiding light, showing us the way towards peace and contentment in love. The wisdom of acceptance is not simply about resignation or giving up, but rather about embracing reality with open arms, acknowledging its beauty and its imperfections alike. Imagine again the butterfly fluttering about, landing on a flower, then taking off again. It does not resist the wind. It does not try to control the flower. It simply exists within the world as it is. It accepts the conditions around it and adapts. This is the essence of acceptance in Stoicism. In the realm of love, this principle translates into accepting our loved ones as they are, not as we wish them to be. Stoics believe that trying to change or control someone else is not only futile but also disrespectful. It disrupts the harmony that is inherent in acceptance. Instead, we should strive to understand and appreciate them for who they are, cherishing their unique traits and quirks. Love, in the Stoic view, is not about possession or control. It is about sharing a journey, about mutual growth and understanding. It's about seeing the other person clearly, without the distortion of our desires and expectations. It's about cherishing the moments, the connection, the shared experiences, without clinging or grasping. Acceptance is also extends to the nature of love itself. Stoics understand that love, like everything else in life, is transient and ever-changing. It evolves, it grows, it fades, it rekindles. Accepting this reality can liberate us from the anguish of clinging to a fixed idea of what love should be. It allows us to experience love in its full depth and richness. And so the wisdom of accepting things as they are brings us closer to the true essence of love. It invites peace and contentment into our relationships, replacing the turmoil of resistance and control. It encourages us to cherish the present moment, to appreciate our loved ones for who they truly are, and to embrace the beautiful, ever-changing nature of love. Acceptance, not resistance, leads to peace in love. As we journey through life, let us carry this wisdom in our hearts, cherishing each moment of love with acceptance and gratitude. Our sixth principle discusses the disruption of inner peace. It's a profound truth, one that Stoics recognized long ago. The pursuit of love, when forced, can lead to turbulence within our hearts and minds. It can unsettle the tranquility we strive to maintain in our lives. Imagine a tranquil lake, its surface smooth and unbroken. This is your inner peace, a state of calm and serenity that you've worked hard to achieve. Now imagine throwing a stone into that lake. The ripples disrupt the tranquility, causing chaos where there was once calm. Forcing love is like throwing that stone. It upsets the balance, leads to confusion and disrupts the harmony within. Stoics believed that our inner peace is sacred. It's the sanctuary within us, a place where tranquility reigns. When we chase after love, when we try to force it, we risk disturbing that peace. We bring upon ourselves unnecessary suffering and emotional turmoil that could have been avoided. Love in its truest form is a natural and spontaneous phenomenon. It's like a butterfly fluttering freely in the wind. If we try to catch it, to force it into a jar, it loses its beauty. It's no longer free and it's no longer the butterfly we admired. 
In the same way, love loses its essence when we try to control it, to force it into our lives. The Stoics were wise. They understood that preserving our inner peace meant not forcing what does not naturally occur. They knew that love, just like a butterfly, should come to us of its own accord. It should settle on our shoulder when it's ready, when the time is right. To force love is to invite disruption into our lives. It's to willingly disturb our inner peace to cause ripples in our tranquil lake. The Stoics advised against this. They urged us to let love come naturally, to let it find us when it's ready. By doing so, we preserve our inner peace. We maintain the tranquility within us. Preserving inner peace means not forcing what does not naturally occur. This is the wisdom that the Stoics have passed down to us, a wisdom that remains relevant today. It's a reminder to us all, a call to protect our inner peace and to let love come naturally. Finally, Stoicism teaches us detachment from external things, including relationships. This principle guides us to understand that we cannot control everything around us. Our power lies in our reaction, not in the events of the external world. Consider the butterfly. It flutters from flower to flower, free and unattached. It does not cling to a single bloom, but appreciates each one in its moment. Much like the butterfly, we too can appreciate love without clinging to it. Stoics believe that such detachment helps us remain tranquil amidst the ebb and flow of life's circumstances. When applied to love, it means we should not be desperate or needy, but rather we should love freely and without expectations. This philosophy does not advocate for indifference or apathy. Instead, it encourages us to love deeply and sincerely, but without attachment to the outcome. Detachment doesn't mean not caring, but loving without attachment to the outcome. As we conclude this transformative journey, I want to commend you for joining me on this exploration of wisdom and self-discovery. We have looked into the profound depths of Stoicism and its enlightening perspective on love. These principles are not just about love, but are fundamental tenets for self-growth and for a balanced, calm and confident life in all areas. And they guide us in our interactions with the world, helping us navigate life's turbulent seas with a calm confidence. Now, I have a question for you. How will you apply these stoic principles in your own life? How can the wisdom of not forcing love influence your relationships and your pursuit of inner peace? I invite you to reflect on these questions and share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, wisdom is a journey, not a destination. I'm thrilled to have you on this path with me. Seek knowledge, live a balanced and successful life. Subscribe for more Wisdom of the Ages and watch the next video posted on the screen. Enjoy your journey of exploring classic wisdom principles.